Hi again, this is Mr. Hammer. I'm here to work on section 8.2, estimating and calculating percents. So in this example, we've got a house and we've got a garage and a driveway. And what we're trying to figure out here is what um, we want to figure out the percent, whoops, the percent of the yard that's covered by the house, garage, and drive. So what percent of the house, I'm gonna write H, G for garage and drive, we wanna know that divided by the total. So first we're gonna figure out the area of the house, which is over here. So let's do that off to the side. We have 10 times 15, because we have 10 and we have 15. So that's gonna be 150 meters squared. And here we have five, times 19, it shows us 19. So let's figure that out here. Five times 19, and that's going to equal to 95 meters squared. So the total of the house, which is 150, and the garage and the drive is going to be 150 plus 95 meters squared. So that's going to give us a total of 245 meters squared. All right. So that is this part plus this part plus this part. What's our total? Well, our total is here, 25. It's a rectangle that's 25 by 30 meters. Let's do it down here. Total is going to be 25 times 30, which is going to equal to 750. So now we can plug in our numbers. So our total area here is 750 meters squared. I'm gonna bring this down over here. We have 245, which is our house, and our garage and drive, meters squared, and our total grass is 750 meters squared. Now, you could take a calculator and do 245 divided by 750, and that would give you a decimal number. But we wanna stick with fractions, and we wanna use mental math and so what we need to do is convert these into numbers that are easy for us to work with. So we look at our denominator first and say, if we leave that unchanged, 750, is there a number that's close to 245 that will divide nicely um, by 750? And I think there is. If we say, get my eraser here, get rid of some of this here. If we were to say, convert this 245 into 250, and I use this squiggly line above my equal signs to mean approximately, then we know that 250 divided by 750 turns into simplest form as the fraction one third. So we know that the fraction of the yard that's covered by the house, the garage, and the drive is one third. It's one third house, garage, drive, and the other two thirds are going to be the grass and the lawn. So we used mental math after we did all the calculations here to turn our 245 into 250 to make this what we would call a friendly number so we can do it in our heads. Okay, let's go to example number one. There are 27 students in the grade seven class. Five students are left-handed. What is the fraction of the students who are left-handed? Estimate the percentage of students who are left-handed. So. Uh, left-handed students, I'm going to put LH. We want to know the fraction of left-handed students overall, divided by all the number of students. So, left-handed students, we have um, five left-handed students, and a total of 27. So that answers question A, right here. What about B? Estimate the percent of students who are left-handed. Um, so this is not a very, um, uh, good fraction for us to work with. This is a number we would have to kind of use a calculator for. We can't multiply 27 by any number to get it over to 100. It's not a friendly number. So could we change one of these numbers just a little bit to make it friendly? Well, I think we could. So I'm going to add my approximately equal squiggle over here. I'm going to leave the 5 the same, but I can change my denominator to 25. That's now friendly. And we know that 5 divided by 25 can equal to 
If we multiply that by 4 and that by 4, we can make this equal to 20 over 100. So therefore, approximately 20% of the students are left-handed. Again, we used mental math and we changed the denominator in this case to 25. You can change the numerator or the, or the denominator or you can change both of them uh, as long as they're close enough to the original numbers. If you get too far, then your estimation isn't necessarily going to be correct. Let's look at example number two. A pair of pants costs $39.99. Sales tax is 15%. We want to estimate the cost of our pants. So we're going to need some number here. We've got our $39.99, and we want to subtract whatever the tax is. That's going to be our 15% off over here, and then we're going to get a final amount that we're going to pay. So we have to find out how much are we subtracting here. So let's first of all change $39.99 into an easier number. Let's change our $39.99 into $40. That's going to be easier to work with. So we're going to assume the price is $40 um, for the sake of calculating our taxes. So then we're going to try and find 15%. Well, 15% is hard to do in your head, but 10% I can do. I know that 10% of 40, I'm just going to move the decimal over one place from here over to here. So I know it's equal to $4. Okay, well, if 10% is $4, then 5% of $40 would have to be half of 10% or half of $4. So that's going to be $2. So my 15% then would simply be adding these two amounts. So my tax would be approximately $6. So I'm going to subtract $6 and then I would have $33.99. So that's an approximation of what um, the pants are going to cost and we used mental math. We didn't have to use a calculator at all I want to look at one of the examples uh, one of the questions that I've assigned to give you some ideas of how to go along with this Let's look at question number two. I'm going to skip question number one So for this one find 10% of each number Well when it's 10% all we know all we need to do is move the decimal place from the farthest point to the right over to the left so from here here so the answer here will be 5 from 300 the decimal point is here so now it's going to be 30 because we move the decimal right over there I'm gonna leave that one and go on to number 7 whoops here's number 7 okay estimation here so friendly numbers well 49 is not friendly let's turn it to 50 now 50% becomes friendly 50% of 150 is just half. So that's going to be equal to 75. That's one way to do estimation. Let's go over to this one over here. 31%, not a friendly number, but 30% could be. So we're going to find 30% of 40, and I'm going to break that down into three 10%s. 10% of 40 is 4. So 30% is going to be multiplying that by 3. So I'm going to multiply that by 3, and I know that 31% is close to 12. So this is how you do mental math. You change these numbers, either the first or the second number, or both, to make it uh, uh, friendly numbers so you can find the answer.